So you remember how every kid's show in the 90s promised that telling a single lie would destroy our lives in some contrived and hugely exaggerated way? Well, you guys, they were not bullshit. More now on the apparent hoax involving a top college football player, his online girlfriend, who he now says turned out to be fake. To recap, the girlfriend of Manti Teo died right before he led Notre Dame, which is like America's favorite college football team, to this like magical season. Then, a few weeks ago, we learned that his girlfriend didn't even exist. Also, we learned how to make every person at ESPN involuntarily sh where they're standing. All I'm saying to you is that again, connect the dots. A college football player spent two years not having sex with his girlfriend. Aren't those guys supposed to be like inventing new sexual positions with vaguely racist nicknames? Have we entered the demolition man phase of human sexuality where kids just like stare at chat windows with like fancy helmets on and like big futuristic unitards? Was Manti involved in this thing? Or better yet, was Teo hoaxing us to hide something? From December 6th to January 16th, my whole reality was that she was a, uh, she was dead, and all of a sudden she's alive. At that time, I didn't know that it was just somebody's prank. Oh, he's a dummy. Well, that's less fun. What do you make of the latest disclosure here that Manti briefly lied about his online girlfriend after discovering she didn't exist? You know, does that impact your belief that he was? more likely than not a victim in all of this? How is he going to regain trust? Oh, oh, we're still doing this? I'm gonna break it down to you again this way. You're in love with a girl you never met. It spans three years, you never met her. All right, settle down. It's an athlete getting hoax, guys. That happens so often, 12 NFL players went bankrupt since I started this sentence. The only difference is those hoaxes actually steal actual money, and you don't cover them. Also, those hoaxes are less stupid than this one, and this one managed to fool you, the media, for like six months. His credibility could be absolutely shattered in this thing. His credibility, his job is to simulate car crashes with his head and his body, and you're the ones with fact-checking in your job description. And you spent six months covering every detail breathlessly, asking like, um, Manti, do you think your dead girlfriend's looking down on you? And follow up, scale of one to 10, how proud is she of this Notre Dame football team? So maybe lay off the emotionally destroyed simpleton who got fooled by the same extra stupid hoax that fooled literally all of you. Journalists are gullible, no, of no, right. no, no offense. Hey there, what's that? Oh, this? Just an old relic from my childhood. You know, the old days. Hey, listen, if you subscribe, you and I can have a catch together. Go deep. You know, let's just do a handoff. Good times.